seen as one of the greatest minds to have ever lived, as well as one of the greatest scientific pioneers during the golden age of scientific enlightenment was that of Albert Einstein. His revelations surrounding the understanding of the very fabric of our reality are still holding their weight to this day. These discoveries are still being proven in the modern day, and have left the scientific world in a state far more advanced than before his introductions of these strange concepts. Together with his research and scientific knowledge, he was destined to change the world. Albert Einstein was a German-born physicist who is perhaps best known for the general theory of relativity. In 1921, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics, and in the following years he decided to travel to the United States. Einstein also produced works which had big effects on atomic energy. In his later years, Einstein focused on unified field theory. Today, the scientific community recognizes Einstein as one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. Einstein was someone who'd realized the problems of physics, and he was someone who wasn't afraid to question them. Another incredible figure of history is that of the Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla. Born in a small Serbian village, young Nikola Tesla had big dreams regarding electricity, and his visions of a better and quite literally a brighter future for humanity. In 1884, Tesla immigrated to the United States, and immediately began his work at an overcrowded shop struggling to maintain the task of building a large electric utility in Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was this work experience that helped to elevate Tesla into his future, as he became obsessed with his own work experiments and theories. Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla were both experts in their own fields, and over the years they did eventually bump heads. In 1931 on Nikola Tesla's 75th birthday, he was featured on Time magazine. The editors at the time reached out to Albert Einstein and asked him to comment on Tesla, to which he said the following. As an eminent pioneer in the realm of high frequency currents, I congratulate you on the great success of your life's work. Although a short message, those around him had always said he had a high level of respect for the Serbian inventor. It's sad that Einstein and only a few others saw his potential. It's only been in the years after his passing that his true talent has been recognized. It appears that Tesla was the man born in the wrong era. His work was left unfinished, his tower was destroyed and he ended up passing away alone in a hotel room. His work left behind has helped to lay the foundation of a better world, but had the world been ready for his gifts, much more could have been accomplished with ease. Although this is perhaps one of the more well-known things that was exchanged between the two, others have suggested the two men worked on a secret project. This project was known today as the Philadelphia Experiment. It's said that both of them spent several weeks on the project, and it's one of the reasons why it actually worked. Allegedly, two of the greatest minds at the time were brought on board to see if this experiment would actually work, and according to some, it kind of did. However, as some have pointed out, Nikola Tesla passed away in 1943, and this was the year that the alleged experiments happened. Some have put forward the idea that Tesla was working this project years before it happened. One of the issues with these statements is that we don't know whether the experiments actually happened. As of today, it's more of an urban legend than fact. Regardless, there are those that still believe to this day the experiment went forward and it was successful to a degree. Referred to by many theorists as the Philadelphia Experiment, the military experimented with creating an electromagnetic bubble around the large naval vessel. This was known at the time as the USS Eldridge. Originally designed to create completely radar invisible ships by bouncing radar waves around the ship, these experiments would go on to create a warp space time field around the ship and transport it through time and space ending up in different areas of the world, and even sending two men through time in an effort to fix the timeline. Although the story surrounding the Philadelphia experiment spanned many different accounts, it eventually led to one of the men sent through time coming into contact with humans of the far future. This was as they were getting ready to stop a cataclysmic event, and it's been said this event would have wiped out all of the life on the planet. 
Interestingly, despite these events having occurred back in the early 1950s, the man would go on to make several starting premonitions about the future, including that of colour televisions in the future, flat screen TVs and even future events such as hospital conditions, medicine and other emerging technologies. As of right now, the experiments and if it even happened are shrouded in mystery. Regardless of whether it was real or not, the men would go on to become famous in their own rights. One theory that's recently been proven is that of the existence of black holes. Only recently been proved in the modern day is that of the groundbreaking theory that Einstein provided when speaking on his theory of relativity, and the warping of space-time that centred around the possible existence of a gravity so great it could cause light itself to become trapped inside. This gravitational well was known mathematically, as the existence of a singularity within space-time that would create an infinite dense object within a tiny point in space-time. This meant essentially that if enough mass and energy had become concentrated and fallen into itself, completely imploding due to the weight of the materials and the gravitational forces surrounding it, the object could theoretically stretch down space-time. At first, many physicists completely disputed this theory, believing that no such forces could exist within the universe and claiming that such a warping of space-time would alter causality itself, and destroy one of the most basic laws of physics, as well as the fact that no such object of infinite mass and density within a tiny point made any logical sense. Despite these claims and beliefs, Einstein stuck with his math in his theories and argued they must exist. Albert Einstein's theory surrounding the existence of such an object would later be proven as true on the 10th of April 2019, after a number of scientists came together to compile all the data received across numerous radio telescopes. This was to create a comprehensive image spanning light years in every direction surrounding that of a black hole sighting. The image of the black hole not only helps to confirm Albert Einstein's pre-existing theories surrounding the existence of the singularity, but proves to be among one of the largest compiled pictures of the universe that was pieced together from a collection of rendered images from other radio telescope information. During Nikola Tesla's popularity, there were many who believed that electricity could only travel and be used with the help of wires and materials that could allow the electricity to travel through the materials to be used to power devices. However, Nikola Tesla had his sights set on a future in which wires of any kind would no longer be required. Known as the Tesla coil, Nikola Tesla designed his own device that could allow electricity to travel wirelessly through the air, and connect to devices around them to be powered. Today, many types of these devices can be found online, and even constructed to be used as a primitive source of power. The problem that persists today is that the efficiency of the system is lacking, and a lot of the energy is lost to the surrounding airwaves. Nikola Tesla had believed he'd solved this issue, but was never able to complete his project as his main financer quickly backed out of helping Tesla. This was after learning that Tesla was going to supply free electricity. Unfortunately, in the modern era, the Tesla coil was widely used for entertainment purposes and nothing more. Tesla wouldn't stop here though. During the rise of the use of electricity in the home, the world had often used direct currents as a source of electrical power, of which led to rising electrical costs and the need for electrical companies to build generators every few miles. This was due to the direct currents slowly dying down after a few miles, and being overall unreliable in many aspects. This would lead Nikola Tesla to invent alternating current, that worked to allow electrical current to continue more efficiently for much longer distances, as well as providing energy at a much cheaper cost to those consuming its power. This would eventually lead to a direct competition with that of Thomas Edison, of whom spearheaded his direct current campaign by claiming that alternating current was far more unreliable. Despite being untrue and direct current suffering from far more safety issues than alternating current, this would lead to the electric wars between the two inventors, competing for their inventions to be used as the forefront of innovation, quickly leading Nikola Tesla to take the lead and satisfy far more power demands in a far more reliable manner, with overall cheaper costs compared to the direct current. Had it not been for Tesla's invention, the modern world would have unreliable electricity. 
with generators needing to be constructed every few miles just to meet the everyday demands. So that was some of Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla's inventions. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.